What's up guys, welcome to iReviews. Now today we're gonna take a look at 30 of the best Cydia tweaks for iOS 7. The first tweak we're gonna show you is the Sleek Sleep tweak. This tweak will allow you to send your device to sleep or wake it up by doing just this. All you have to do is just swipe here at the sensor and it will wake it up or send it to sleep. This next tweak we're gonna show you is Classic Switcher. Now as you see this tweak will bring back the old iOS 6 Classic Switcher here at iOS 7. It removes the iOS 7 Switcher. Now you have the apps down here as they used to be on iOS 6. You can close them just like in iOS 6 here or you can kill them all by swiping from the left here and then just release it and it will quit all apps. The next week we're gonna show you is the SB Rotator 7. This tweak will allow you to rotate the springboard in landscape mode as you see here. Really cool tweak. It also has some settings you can configure here. You can choose which way you want to turn to rotate the springboard or the rotation duration here or you, you can even choose some apps which it will also rotate in the landscape mode. Pretty cool tweak. This next tweak we're gonna show you is called Overboard. This tweak will allow you to quickly move between your pages. As you see here, you just set a gesture in settings which you want to use to activate it. And then here you have it, all your pages in one page and you just go to whichever you like. Our next tweak is Skip Lock. What this tweak does is this. As you see, it takes you directly to your home screen. You don't have to slide to unlock. Of course, if you have any notification, it won't skip it. You can see them all. It's just when you have no new notifications, it just takes you directly to your home screen. This next tweak is a pretty known Cydia tweak that gives you these cool animations when you move through your pages. It's barrel. You can go ahead download it. You can then choose here whichever animation you like. It has a lot of animations. It's a really cool tweak. Our next tweak is Blord. Blord is a tweak which will remove the white iOS 7 keyboard and will give you this cool looking black keyboard. It's a pretty nice tweak. You just install it, go to settings and enable it and then you will have the black keyboard instead of the iOS 7 white keyboard. The next tweak we're gonna show you is CC Loader. This tweak will allow you to add or remove different sections of the control center. As you see here, we can just go ahead and remove settings. Now the settings are not there or the media controls. As you see here, now we have just the quick launches and the brightness control. Or you can add more sections even rearrange them any way you like. Our next week is CC Toggles. Now this week will allow you to add or remove different toggles and quick launches at this control center. As you see just go under CC Toggles and here you have the toggles which you can add whichever you like. As you see a lot of toggles here. You can even change the quick launches here. You can add any app you want to the quick launch in the control center. Our next tweak is Fave. This tweak will allow you to quickly launch your favorite app here. You just add it in settings as you can see in the home page here. Just swipe from the left and then release it and it will open your favorite app whichever you choose. Our next tweak is Gridlock. Now this tweak will allow you to place your icons anywhere you want in the home screen, as you know, with the stock iOS 7, they just have to be in row here. But with this tweak, you can place them anywhere you want. Our next tweak is iWidgets. Now this tweak will allow you to add widgets to your home screen. You just tap like this and it will pop up here. You just go to a widget that you want to add and here you have it. Then tap on it and you can move it anywhere you want in your home screen. Our next week is Zeppelin. 
and Zeppelin will allow you to add these logos instead of the carrier here. Pretty nice tweak. You can also go to Cydia and download different logos, whichever you like. It has a lot of logos. You can even remove it all and just have the bars here and nothing at the carrier. Our next tweak is Infinite Dock. Now this tweak will allow you to add as many icons as you want in the dock here. As you know, with the stock iOS 7, you just have four. And with this tweak, you can add as many as you want. Our next tweak is Kill Background 7. As you see here in the app switcher, I have two buttons here when I can just click and it will kill all the apps in the background. It's a really useful tweak. As you see, all the apps are closed just by tapping a button. Next week, we're gonna show you it's Lockdown Pro. This tweak will allow you to close any app you want with the passcode. You just go to settings, go to Lockdown Pro and here you have all your applications. You just tap on whichever you want to close and hit lock here and now it's locked with a passcode. Our next week is the lock screen tool. This tweak will allow you to remove the slide to unlock text and add any text you want. You just go to settings, go under the lock screen tool, here you enable it and add the text you want and then just go back here and as you see now the text here has changed to i reviews. Our next tweak is a multi icon mover. This week will allow you to move as many icons as you want at once. Just click on them like this and then just go to the page you want to move them and hit the home button and as you see all the icons I have moved to the page we wanted. Our next tweak is the airdrop enabler. This is a pretty cool tweak which will enable the airdrop feature in older iOS 7 devices like the iPhone 4 you can go ahead download it from Cydia and it will enable the airdrop mode in your older iOS 7 device. The next week we're gonna show you is Repower. This week will give you more options in the power off menu as you see here besides the slide to power off it also gives you an option to reboot or respring your device. Our next tweak is Share Widget. This tweak will allow you to quickly post to Facebook or Twitter from the control center. As you see here, you have the tabs for Facebook and Twitter. You just tap on one of them and you can post directly from the control center. Our next tweak is Swipe Selection Pro. This tweak will allow you to move the cursor anywhere you want in the text just by sliding through the keyboard or you can configure it to just move it by sliding through the space bar here. Pretty nice tweak. Next up we have Switch Spring. This tweak will bring some new features to the app switcher on iOS 7. You can go ahead kill all the apps just by swiping the home screen here. Then it will give you the options to restart your springboard or to quit all apps. You can choose whichever you want and it will do it for you. Pretty nice tweak. Next up we have Unlimited Tones. Now this app will allow you to set different tones to your device. You can choose whichever tone you want here or you can add one of your iPod songs. Just go here to iPod and here you have the list of all your songs and you can add it whichever you want and make it your ringtone. Our next tweak is Fake Operator. As you can see, this tweak will change the name of the operator to any name you want. You just go to settings, enable it and add any text you want and it will show up at the operator. Our next tweak is Side Delete. Now this tweak will allow you to quickly delete your Stadia apps from the home screen here just like the regular apps. You just tap on the X here and it will delete the Stadia app. Our next tweak is Bytafon 2. This tweak will allow you to change the font of your device. You just go to the app here and you go browse then fonts. Here you have iOS 7. You can choose whichever font you like. You can also go ahead, go to Cydia and download even more fonts for your device. Our next tweak 
is share widget for notification sender. This is a pretty useful tweak. You just have to go to settings under notification sender and enable it. And now you have them here. You can go ahead and post to Facebook or Twitter directly from your notification center. Next we have vShare. Now vShare it's a well known Cydia app which will allow you to download any app you want for free. Pretty nice app. Also has a lot of free apps you can download. You can choose here from categories whichever you like and download them. They are all for free. The last Cydia app we're gonna show you it's Moviebox. Now this app will allow you to watch different TV shows or movies and you can even download them to your iPhone and watch them later. So these are our top 30 Cydia tweaks and apps for iOS 7. I hope you guys enjoy them and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.